Hey everyone, it's Rolls. Welcome back to the Metal Gear Solid 4 playthrough, and this is episode 4. Uh, sort of had a, um, a false start when I was recording before. It happened less than 30 seconds in, and I did not know until it was about 12 minutes in of a 22 minute video. Anyway, um, <coughs> excuse me, this is a... This is a longer video, like I said we this playthrough is going to have. Um, unfortunately there's not really any... Oh, I can have a mini window and watch it there, cool. Unfortunately there's not really any way to adjust the time in this one because we end with a nice little cutscene in this part. What a surprise, a Metal Gear Solid 4 part with cutscene. Um, Oh. Sorry, it's been super busy. Like I said in uh, the earlier parts that I recorded a little... Hell, almost an hour ago today at this point. Uh, just had to check my work phone there. Unexpected. Couple days off here. Uh, and then I'm going in Saturday morning. Which is okay, but the only problem is um, the Penn State game starts at noon, so... And it's Michigan, too. It's one I don't want to miss, so... Uh, you know, we'll get through... Well, most of it I should be able to watch at the... At the house, probably. The workhouse, I mean. Uh, anyway, here, here's the what part I wanted to talk about. Uh, cocksucker. I, I keep forgetting the... Yeah, I want to talk about the cocksuckers. I keep forgetting these uh, these troops are not on our side technically in the first one. Like the ones we're advancing behind, they're not they're not in our uh, we're not helping them in any way. Like they they'll start shooting at you if they notice you. <laughs> Again, this is like I don't know. I've played the first. If you count this as the prologue, I've, or the chapter one, I've played the first two or three chapters a couple times for recording, but uh, I only played through the whole game once before this recording, and uh, it's probably evident, uh, because I know so much little, is that guy in a T-pose? I, I don't... I said that the first time. I wish I walked over to see if his other arm is out, because that would be hilarious. Um, man, I was just having some real struggles, though, with... Uh, so I talked about Aura, the uh, VPN and, like, identity protect... It protects everything for 15 bucks a month. That's awesome, right? Uh, but I was having trouble with... Um, Windows Defender turning back on, and I think I found, I had to change the registry file, which, I mean, I'm not that comp, uh, Windows literate, but I found some help online for it, because, like, I wanted it to turn off and stay off, and it's telling me all these other things to search in the run bar, change like local group files and stuff but I don't have that like this Windows 10 doesn't have that option apparently but that's what was going on like Aura was starting with no problem uh, but every time I had reset the computer to make an update or to just turn it off occasionally you know and give it a rest uh, it was restarting and turning Defender back on which then was conflicting with Aura, I guess, and it, uh, I checked it actually uninstalled it, and I was like, yeah, I don't need, I don't need one program that, like, they just decided they're gonna have as part of the OS being that powerful, like, that you can't, I mean, I get it, I get that some people don't 
want to change things or do it, but like, if I'm paying for a service, you know, I want to use the one I'm paying for, not the free one that could have holes in it and doesn't have a VPN with it. Like, I don't think that's a crazy... Yeah, it's still there. That's a crazy concept. But, I don't know. It was, so it was a roundabout way, but I think we're good now. But we'll see uh, whenever I turn it off again here. I have this computer set. This laptop's actually interesting. I have it set up so that it uh, the battery is always at like 60% while it's plugged in, so it never like overcharges or anything. But I don't want to like this one doesn't really. I don't really travel anymore with. A laptop. I mean, I, I have a I have a Chromebook that I take to work with me in my work bag for like writing and whatnot. But that's mainly that's the travel one now. Like I'm not taking I'm not taking this. You know, it's not powerful by any standards of like a gaming laptop or anything. But I'm not taking this uh, terabyte Dell with me out when I don't need to. And I got this refurbished a few years ago, and then I was just like... I don't want to say modding it, because that doesn't... That gives... Gives it more credit than it's due. But just, like, installing and customizing it the way I wanted it. And I'm happy with it, so... It stays home, it's plugged in, and now it has new antivirus. Before I just had AVG like I like I do on my phone. I still have it on my phone actually. Uh, I don't know why. Aura doesn't seem to have one or I couldn't find one. That's like a paid phone scanner. Maybe I'm just not looking but I looked through the Google Play Store and there was one but it's like I tried to log into this account that I have, and it was like, yeah, this doesn't exist. I was like, yeah, yes it does. <laughs> I mean, it's logged in on three other, two other devices, so. I wish they had one that was just like, okay, run a diagnostic, you know. But anyway. I really always like this section. Uh, to use the solid eye a little bit, and I think there's some good weapon pickups down here. I don't remember. This is... Obviously, I'm playing through this same file a second time. It'll be a bit easier for me that way. Just like <laughs> knocking out everybody here. It's so unnecessary. Just go forward. Yeah, there's an RPG, like... I'm pretty sure there was a grenade launcher back here. I guess this is the problem with always having the uh, night vision on, too. Like, some areas have it, but other rooms have lighting, like this one, apparently. <laughs> their guns get those points I was trying to see if there's a way I could play through and get the points to uh, get like the stealth or whatever but that's a lot of work like I kind of hoped it was like the uh, previous games were like you play through enough and that's how you get the items but with them, you actually have to buy them, and their point totals are, like, absurdly high in the shop for the gun launderer we're going to meet. I keep avoiding saying his name, because I really do like his character. <laughs> it's coming up here. Man, I love that I have this, by hovering over the Audacity logo, I hit the pop-up of, like, the live recording of the stream. I should have did this way before. Yeah, this is about where it cut out, or I noticed it was cut out uh, last time. 
because I was just complaining and be like, oh man, it disconnected from the internet again. Except this, no, it's not. We will see when it restarts what the situation is. No. Anyway, here's our guy. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. Why not? You're not with the militia. You're not BMC. I'm a weapons wholesaler. All shapes, all sizes. But there's no need to worry, because all my shit's been laundered. Laundered. Never noticed there's a design on the napkin before. You see, I take ID guns like the PMCs use and make some mods. Then you can use them without having to match IDs. Okay, I think we're good. I installed a new version. Yeah, Drebin, there we go. I installed a new version of Audacity too, the update, so I'm hoping, yeah, we're going well. I'm just hoping everything is copacetic now with that, you know? 8.93. Carrie Payton, uh, he is Ezekiel in The Walking Dead. There we go, keep, keep recording, keep doing your job. Yeah. Yeah, why is okay. Now it's now it's worrying me because every time I'm checking out there it goes. Now it's going. Just wasn't like doing it live in the little window. But you got an M4. Da 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 da. That is. Huh. I can't pull the trigger. Really? That's weird. What's weird? Wait, I got it. I bet you're using an older generation of nano machines. Older generation? Sometimes they don't really jive with the new system. Seriously? Who are you? Slow down. Yeah, so apparently Snake has an old version of the nano machines. Uh, so it's kind of you just gonna let this guy inject you with some. He does it here in a minute, but. Searching, uh, can we talk business or what? This informed delivery for the post office is uh, kind of cool, but also like you can obsess over it. Like I said, I've had some things with 
credit and stuff lately with information that may have gotten out, so I've been more vigilant on checking mail to see what's coming. Like, I can see what's coming tomorrow already right now. It's from uh, Wellspan, my doctor's office. It's probably just a reminder uh, that I have tests and stuff I have to do here at the beginning of November. That wouldn't surprise me that if they send it out to just be like, hey, just remember, you have this coming up. Even though I really wish places wouldn't do that. Like from the Social Security Administration, I got a letter saying, uh, hey, you, you registered for the account online. Like, yeah, I did. I did it so you wouldn't send me things in the mail. So why are you sending me something in the mail to say that I registered online? Like, I get it if someone registered in your name, like, and could be messing with you, but, like, I knowingly created that account through a previous, through the, like, the government's uh, login system that I had to use when I checked, like, my, my IRS stuff. But anyway... Yeah, I'm not as concerned about a letter from Wellspan, especially because when I was quiet there, I was just checking to see if there's any bills or anything, and nope. So it's probably just a reminder. I have you. Always reminded me of the eye guy from uh, 12 Ounce Mouth, the fucking weird adult swim show that's like doesn't seem to make sense at first but actually has a really complex story for like cutouts and cardboard drawings <laughs> anyway this is he's gonna be our partner here throughout this game for uh weaponry and whatnot I like that his truck has his number on it that's cool That's a visual clue, too, I think, that his, the soda is called Narc. Like, this. So, I'll, I'll spoil it. He turns out to be, like, in, partly working with the Patriots. It's a little, it's a little, uh, convoluted. Well, this whole game's convoluted with the story. Really. There he goes. It's the suppression nanomachines. Um, that's also Rat Patrol, That what I was alluding to earlier, to see it, like, the code written out there. And the colonel, in episode one, when the colonel's talking, it spells out Patriot if you rearrange the letters. But, at, at the same time, see? No sweat. I don't know. Maybe the... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out the story now in my head. So, if the Patriots were urging you on your way to take care of Liquid Ocelot, but his... His goal the whole time was the opposite of what everyone thought it was. So... Maybe even the Patriots didn't know. That's interesting. I never, I never realized that part of the story before. I like you name it, I can launder it. Of course, the Patriots are actually like urging us along to take care of this guy because they're they have just as much of a fear of him as an unknown entity that they would have Snake, but at least they can keep tabs on Snake. At least Snake's predictable. I don't mean that in a bad way. And the system clamping down on things. System codes are the law now. And control is essentially absolute. Paving the way for bad profits if... Yeah, I went on a whole rant about the mail on my personal Facebook the other day. Like, I really don't understand... Like, it's for that Social Security letter. Now, that was just, like, a notice that was harmless, right? 
But I imagine it's an important document that, like, needs to be addressed as soon as possible. And I don't get a message on the My Social Security login thing, which is, like, I selected it um, explicitly to, like, send me an email to tell me to log in if I have a notification. So I can do it any time, right? Because I was working 3 to 11 that day. And this was yesterday. This, you know, for clarity. But the mail, I left my house at 1.30. And the mail still wasn't here. Some days the mail gets here, like, around 11. Yesterday it wasn't here till like, 1.30. Um, at the house I work at, in one of the towns up, it's not delivered sometimes to like 4 p.m. It's like, okay, well, they need to find a way to get it there sooner. Like, I think lunchtime is a fair expectation. And if not, hire more mailmen. Like, you can't... They operate... Again, it's like everything else... Sorry, I'm going to rant now. It's like everything else where... They just assume the seven... The 9 to 5 or the seven, 8 to 4 or 7 to 3, whatever. Daytime schedule, right? It's like, oh man, I really wish Walmart would be open at night again. Or the grocery store I go to. And they're like, no, we're just going to stay closed. COVID gave us an excuse to eliminate nighttime shopping. And that's what it was, honestly. It's an excuse at this point. Like, there's no... Nothing to it. But, like, fuck everybody else that's on a different schedule if you work... Second shift or overnight, you know? Like, fuck you. Like, you should come before work. It's like, okay, and then what do I do? Take the f fucking frozen fr food I buy? Like, unfortunately, I have a place that has a fridge, but what if I didn't? Ugh. <laughs>